Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will solve two problems of inverse Laplace transform. Okay, the first problem is <coughs> as shown here, and it is similar to what we have been doing in the video number two. Uh, just the difference here is that now we have three terms at the denominator. So we'll follow exactly the same technique. We'll uh, take help of partial fraction to decompose this. So it is k1 over s plus k2 over s plus 1. And the third term is k3 over s plus 4. So we have three terms because there are three terms at the denominator. And now we take help of re reduction method or residue method. And as we have discussed earlier also that in the residue method we multiply the signal fs with the denominator part of the variable whose value we want to find. So like here we want to find the value of k1 so we'll multiply fs by s so we have multiplied fs by s and also we'll put this term equal to 0 denominator term equal to 0 so the condition becomes that s is equal to 0 now let's plug in the value of fs so the value of fs we have plugged in here and now we can cancel s and s so this is the uh, simplified form after cancellation and in this will now plug in the value of s equal to 0 at these three places. So it will be 6 into 2 12 and 4 into 1 4 so the answer is 3 so k1 is equal to 3. Now similarly we'll find k2 so for k2 we have to multiply by the denominator of k2 that is s plus 1 so we multiply fs by s plus 1 and the condition now is if we put s plus 1 equals 0 therefore s becomes equal minus 1 so this is the condition and now here we plug in the value of fs and then we cancel the two terms common terms so this becomes the simplified form and now if we put in the value of s is equal to minus 1 here here and here the answer will be minus 2 and finally the third term k3 so for k3 we will multiply by s plus 4 so s plus 4 fs and the condition now will become that s plus 4 equals to 0 means s equals to minus 4 so after plugging in the value of fs and then cancelling the like terms this is the simplified form and now if you put in the value of s is equal to minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 and uh, simplifying we get the answer to be minus 1 so we have k1 k2 and k3 so our equation now becomes that fs is equal to 3 over s plus minus 2 over s plus 1 plus minus 1 over s plus 4 okay so we were here and now we'll take help of uh, the uh, table to convert into the time domain so taking the help of these two so if we have 1 over s then in the time domain it will become ut so we'll use this here so it will be 3 ut in time domain and the other two will use this formula so e raised to the power minus 80 ut so this will be minus 2 e raised to the power minus 1t we don't write one ut 
and in this case it will be e raised to the power minus 4t because a is 4. And we can take ut common, so our final answer uh, would be something like this here. So this is our second problem and if you see uh, we have s plus 1 terms in both numerator and denominator so we can cancel this and the simplified form will be 4 divided by s into s plus 4 and in partial fraction terms it will be k1 over s plus k2 over s plus 4 and to find the unknowns k1 and k2 k will take help of the residue method so k1 is the denominator multiplied so s into fs and putting s equal to 0 so this is the condition plugging in the value of fs here and cancelling the like terms so it will be further simplified to be 4 divided by s plus 4 and now we put the value of s is equal to 0 so the answer is 1. Similarly for k2 we multiply by the denominator s plus 4 so s plus 4 fs plug in in the value of fs cancelling the like terms so it becomes 4 over s and putting the value of s is equal to minus 4 from here s plus 4 is equal to 0 so s is equal to minus 4 and the answer becomes minus 1. So fs can now be written as 1 over s plus minus 1 divided by s plus 4 and we now take the inverse Laplace transform to go into the time domain we take help of these um, two tables so for 1 over s we write ut and for s plus 4 we write e raised to the power minus 4t ut and taking ut common this becomes the final answer so i hope this gives you uh, some idea as to how to solve this type of a problem thank you